You know, ladies and gentlemen, I, I climbed this mountain this afternoon for some reason. I have no idea why. It's been raining all day. We're here for a party. We had partying last night. Today's been raining. But you can see, maybe you can see on the camera the way the weather is across this valley. And I've reached this point on top of this mountain. Well, it's not quite the top. You see, I've reached this point where it's closed. And when I stepped past this point earlier, a few moments ago, the wind was extremely, extremely fierce. But you see, the place I'm trying to get to is up here, and I'm going to show it with, to you in one second. Because what's really important about what I've done is I overcame a fear because it's raining, it's miserable. This is where I'm going to get to. This point up there. And how I've got here, and I need to share this view with you because it's really, it's just fucking amazing. It really is. This was the Olympic, Winter Olympic venue in 1984. So it's got a history. And maybe you can hear the fiercer and fiercer. So I'm going to, I step across the wind. And the wind. So this is Mother Nature at 2,000 meters in the Bosnian mountains and live in reality. Thanks to people that have come from all over the world to listen to a three-day lineup of amazing DJs. And it's an amazing atmosphere. So, I'm gonna continue this video should I find and navigate my way up the top of this hill here. I've already been obstructed a few moments ago, a few minutes ago, because that snow up there is pretty deep, so I've got to try and navigate away. Anyway, let's see if we get there. And I have managed to find what appears to be a safe route. And I'm getting closer to my destination. And if you can see, and the wind is not as fresh on this path. So, shall we see if we can go? Because I think it's, I feel like in the Lord of the Rings movie right now. My precious. So, I need to put my, look at where I've come. And this is a journey. This is a journey right here and right now. This is an adventure. My heart is pumping. My adrenaline is slow. I'm flying in the mountains. You'll see my face very soon. Anyway, onwards and upwards. You know, I feel a bit like a girl right now. I'm... I managed already. I just had to navigate across the snow here. You can see my footsteps. And I can't tell how deep the snow is. You see here, there's trees. And the last time I turned around, was because I felt I used a tree, a small tree, to support myself and what I didn't realize was there was a hole of, hole of snow underneath it, so there was a void, so I fell through it. That's why I turned around to find a safer route. And that's almost also reminiscent of a dream that I had a few weeks ago where I was actually, I fell from a bridge and fell into a deep bed of mud. And I was calling my friends to help me because I could hear them and see them, but they couldn't see where I was because I was stuck in a hole. So it's very uh, precognitive, I think. Who knew? Anyway, you know, battle continues. And you see, I've just navigated my way around here to the safe land. But this is just getting more and more incredible and beautiful. And it's going to be very soon sunset, so maybe I'm going to be blessed to see an amazing sunset. But the path seems to be getting 
clearer and easier. My target destination is there. I do have a prize when I get to the top. And I have to share that with you. So, that's my trophy. That's my celebration. Celebration of life. Achieving something that I set out to do yesterday. And here I am. Keep going. It's not over till the fat lady sings. So, I made it. I've set up my camera in this particular direction for some reason. And I put the zoom lens in for some reason. So I'm looking on the horizon for something. It's looking like there's a clearing coming overhead. And the snow became very, very bright up here a few moments ago. But just to show you where I've got to, I'm quite... I can't say I'm a... There's no fear. There's no, I'm not afraid. I'm just conscious. I'm aware of this high wind behind me. Because I'm vulnerable. But I'm, con I'm not afraid. I'm conscious of my safety and well-being. I'm keeping low to the ground so I don't fall down. Or I don't... Wait, maybe I'll go flying, flying for real. This is impressive. This is real. This is living money. And this is what our life is all about. And I'm doing this for a reason. I'm doing this for me. It was impossible, what I saw. Because I need to show you, if I can carefully do so, where I've come from. And it's down there. navigate this way, the shortcut. I tried to go across the snow. And as I told you earlier, I grabbed a tree. I to go the top of the tree, like a branch of the tree. But when I took hold of it and stepped, my, I, I went to my waist in snow. So I immediately got out. So what that showed me, I had to find another way. Or I, I, was, I had two choices, go back to the apartment and chill out with the guys or continue with my cotton quest, continue with the, the challenge that I set myself, with my journey. And this is really, really impressive what's happening here. Well, Mother Nature, I'm so happy to share this with you. Because this is real, this is real life. But you know, I had to find another way. And I chose, I'm going to continue my journey. Let's follow this new path here, see where it goes. But what I saw on this new path, which I'll post photographs later, are prints, uh, cat footprints. But And they were following a certain path and I, I took some photographs because I was following them and then I saw some big massive like human like footprints and then I realized that it was probably somebody wearing snow boots but let's see what happens with that one but anyway I'm gonna continue the video very shortly I've been here for about 10 minutes I didn't open the beer because I didn't open the beer the celebration happens when I get home because the journey it's just the beginning, isn't it? This is the first step. Make the decision to follow your heart and soul and drive and in motivation and determination to reach a certain goal. So what happens now? I have to walk backwards and find the right way back before it gets dark. Which is going to be interesting because it's getting dark. So, continue later. And there's some nostalgia about this old building. It looks sort of like an old asylum. Prison. But I'm sure it was some old lodge. But anyway. I'm down from my heights. But I'm still at quite a great height. But I'm still on my way back to the apartment. And yeah. The journey continues.